Boom shakalaka. In this video, I'm going to show you how my old database reactivation workflow got a little bit of a facelift using the new GHL advanced workflow builder. And then I'm going to show you how I use the new GHL flow builder for conversational AI to attach when people say that they're interested to my DBR campaigns and how that AI bot now pre-qualifies those people for my customers. Let's just dive right in. So before I dive into the conversational AI flow builder, I'm going to show you a little bit about how my database reactivation campaign with the new advanced flow builder works. So right off the bat, it sends out a text message that says it's an open-ended question. Hey, are you still open to our product or service? It waits for a reply. Then it uses the new workflow AI decision maker to decide which branch those people go down. They say interested, not interested, not right now, wrong number. They already have the product or service stop or the default branch. This branch catches people that the AI decision maker doesn't understand the response. And this gives you the ability to either reprompt at another branch or, you know, figure out why people are going in default. And honestly, once people go in default, um, I, I tend to send them to the follow-up message. If they say they're not interested, so one, if they say they're interested, uh, they then it then triggers the AI conversational flow bot to then pre-qualify those people for their call team. I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. If they say they're not interested, what I do is I double tap them. Sends them another message saying, hey, I understand a lot of people aren't interested at first, yada, 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 the feel, felt, found method. And then it waits for a reply. And then it does edit the conversation. So it does mark as read. So it doesn't clutter up your inbox. Then, like I said, it waits for a reply. So once they reply to the second attempt that says, hey, totally get it. You're not interested. You know, we feel you. We felt we found. Then a lot of people say, listen, no, not interested. Or yeah, you know what? I am interested. and then they start to be filtered down these branches through the workflow AI decision maker. Now, what's really cool is let's say the person says they're interested, just like the old workflow, I can hit go to, then it's going to ask me where they would like to go to. And I'm going to click this little plus button and I'm going to move this right over here so that it updates the opportunity that they're interested and then activates the bot so that it can pre-qualify them for a phone call. And then what it does is if they hit not interested, it then sends them another message that says, hey, no problem. Would it be okay if I sent you a message in the future? It waits for a reply. And if they say yes, then it puts them in the flow to follow up in the future. If they say no, don't follow up. It puts them in a, a, a flow to follow up way later in the future. And then if they say anything different, you can set your conditions there. So that's basic. That's, that's how my flow works originally is I send out an open-ended question. Hey, are you still interested in product or service? Interested, not interested, not right now, wrong number, already have the service, stop or default branch, which gives you the ability to update things. Then if they say not interested, if they say interested, it triggers the bot, we'll get to that. If they say not interested, it triggers a second message that tries to win them back with some sort of offer. This could be like, well, hey, the reason I'm reaching out is we're offering 50% off. The reason I'm reaching out is because we're, we're doing buy one, get one free. Then we wait for a response again. Uh, so I get about 25 to 30% people saying yes after the second message. If they say interested, it's going to then pre-qualify them with the bot. If they say not interested, it's going to then ask if we can reach out to them in the future. And what this is going to do is help build out your pipeline for your clients of people that they could, one, are interested now or interested later. You can help them clean up their list with, you know, this wrong number. They already have the product or service. So a lot of this is really a database filtration system. Here's what's really cool. And I, like I said, we're going to get to how the AI bot pre-qualifies them in a second. But let's say I send out the first message. Hey, are you interested in our product or service? You were at one time and they don't respond. So it waits for a reply and the timeout is after five days. Now, after five days, what it will do is just send the second message that says, hey, listen, what we found in the past was a lot of homeowners. They didn't see significant savings. So this could be like, hey, listen, uh, you, you didn't respond to my last message. The reason I'm reaching out is because we're doing 50% off or we're doing a buy one, get one free or we're doing yada, 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 whatever it is. After five days, you can try and ping them again. And then it's going to wait for a respond. Then it's going to use the AI decision workflow decision maker to send them down either the default branch. They're interested, not interested, not right now, wrong number, already have this product or service or stop. Now, if they say interested again, we're going to hit go to go to, 
And then we are going to then zoom out a little bit and where it was my go to. And then we're going to hit the little plus sign and we're going to drag it over here to mark them as interested. And then it's going to send them to the bot to pre-qualify if they mark as interested. If they say not interested, this is almost a duplicate of, up, of what's going on up here. And if they say not interested, then it's going to ask them, okay, would it be okay if I followed up in the future? Then it's going to follow the same process. Yes, no, maybe so. Now, here's what's really awesome about this new builder. So let's say they don't respond to a second message and we want to hit them with a third attempt. This time out right here waits five days. And if they don't respond after five days, then it sends them into this next flow. And then this one right here waits two weeks. If they don't respond to that one, then you can actually opt to send them into another flow. Now, here's what's really cool is I already have all of this built out. We just need a new front end message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little hand button over here and I'm going to copy everything. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to highlight everything after that message. Okay. And I'm going to hit command copy. Oops. And then right here. I'm going to hit command V. Now it just copied that entire sequence right here. So now I can attach this to where if someone doesn't respond after 15 days, we can now attach another reach out to them. Okay. And so the timeout was 15 days on that. The timeout on this wait period was 15 days. And now we can send them another text message and we can say something like, contact first name question mark just wanted to do as promised and reach out are you still open to our product or service however you want to do that and now i'm going to hit save and so now all i have to do to keep that process running if they just keep not responding is then adding a new branch and a new time period to where if, if that group of people doesn't respond and we can set this up for over six months, 12 months, however they want to do it. If they don't respond, then, I mean, you can move them out of this, this sequence. You can delete the contact. You could do whatever you want to do. And then again, if they do respond inside of this, now when you copy paste a lot of these, what it will want you to do is confirm that, that those action steps are still the same action steps. And so you'll just hit, you just have to click on each of them. You'll see a little, a little yellow triangle there. Once you just click on it and hit save. Now this one wants to know where it's going to. And so let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. We're going to hit the go to button and we're going to drag that way up here because it says that they're interested. And so now what I did was, was able to just copy paste everything that I did and keep growing this out. And so the first message goes out, it waits seven days. It sends a second message out. If they don't respond, it waits 15 days. Then it sends a third message out. If they don't respond, you can build, you can continue to build onto this. Or if you would choose, you can have them go into a completely different workflow. Now that is how my system has worked for many, many, many years. And the cool thing is one of the bigger upgrades is the conversational AI flow. Once someone mentions that they're interested, it's going to update conversation AI bot status. So it took me a little bit to figure out because it doesn't say, hey, activate bot. So what you have to do is click the add button and then hit update conversation AI bot status. Once you already have your conversational AI bot built, and then it will then activate that conversational AI bot. And it cannot be your, you don't, you don't want it to be your primary bot. Your primary bot is going to be active all the time. So you want to have your primary bot, you know, made set and turned off. You're going to want this to be a secondary bot. So you see, I go to AI agents, I hit conversational AI. I go to agent list and you'll see Eleanor is not set as my primary bot and is set only for SMS. So I click on Eleanor and I have prompted it a little bit. I don't have any bot training because I haven't selected a knowledge base or anything like that, but I go to my bot flows and I hit edit and flow builder. And you can see now that I have a custom message that goes out 
And so I have the first message that goes out that says, excellent. Would it be okay if we ask you a few questions about your home to make sure you're qualified? Now, they do need to, res as, as of right now, they do need to respond to that because these information collecting nodes won't just trigger all by themselves. So if I just activate this bot and someone gets put into one of these, these nodes that are called AI capture information, where it captures some information and then it updates a field, it's not going to trigger this in this scenario unless they actually respond. Because as of right now, I have it set up to where they get this bot gets active. But if they don't respond once this bot is active, then it won't go through the pre-qualifying questions. And so I do have my pre-qualifying questions. Well, first question is excellent. Would it be okay if we asked you a few questions about your home? And I don't have this AI generated. This is just a static custom message. And then the first home is, are you, or first question is, are you the homeowner? Second question is, do you get full sun to the roof of your house? Third question is, do you get your bill online or in the mail? And then the next step is to book an appointment, let them know that they qualify for the program. And we need a, uh, a quick 10 minute phone call and then give them some options on when to book the appointment. So let's just go ahead and test this. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add myself as a contact. Make sure you delete yourself if you're testing this, because I have noticed that if you don't delete yourself, you have to, it, it, the AI kind of picks up the past conversation only while you're testing. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down and I'm gonna hit automations and I'm gonna add automation. And then I'm going to add this to my AI database reactivation GHL only workflow, the same workflow that you just saw that I'd updated with the new workflow builder. And I'm gonna hit add. You can see I pop up now in that workflow and you should be able to see the very first message that goes out. And you can see here that it sends out the first text message that says, Hey, this is Austin with Anova. You spoke with one of our team members last year. I'm just doing as promised and reaching out. And if I go to my workflow builder, you can see that I'm sitting here in this wait for reply. Now, depending on my reply, if I don't reply, then after five days, it's gonna move me down this, this route down here at the bottom. If I do reply, then it's gonna take the AI decision maker and it's gonna decide which one of these routes I go down. Now, I'm not going to hit not interested because I don't want... Now, I could say I'm not interested and show you how it goes on this path. I could say not right now, wrong number, already have a product or service, stop, and it would go down one of those paths. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yes, I'm interested. That way it triggers the bot. Yes, I'm interested. Now, you will see that when I say, yes, I'm interested and it does activate the bot, you will start to see here in this bottom here where it says conversational AI bot is active, click to edit. So you could turn the bot off if you wanted to, or you let it keep going. It says, excellent. Would it be okay if we asked you a few questions about your home to make sure you're qualified? Sure. So I'm gonna respond, sure. And then what it's going to do is it's then going to take me down the process of pre-qualifying me for the call agents or for the business before I actually hop on a phone call. So you can see, just to confirm, do you own the home or are you renting? I own the home. You see it pops up, I own the home. AI is typing a message. Great, thanks for confirming. Does your roof get full sun throughout the day or are there trees or buildings causing any shade? No, we get full sun. And then AI responds, quick question. Do you get your utility bill online or in the mail? We'll eventually need it to check your power usage for your solar design system. Cause I prompted it to say that I get my bill in bill in the mail. Now what it should do is attempt to set the appointment to have a conversation with one of the solar specialists. It says you qualify for the new program. Next step is a quick 10 minute call with a solar specialist. I have November 4th, 2025, Tuesday at 11 a.m. or 11.30 a.m., which works. Do you have some times available in the evening? on that day. And then it says, looks like we don't have any evening slots on Tuesday, November 4th, 2025. Closest available are 3 p 3.30 p.m. or 4 p.m. that day. Want to pick one or try a different date or time? Then I can say 4 p.m. works 
out great and then boom you'll see new appointment created and then you'll see that it's sending me information about the appointment austin just booked an appointment on your call because i'm using the same number that sends me notifications you're all set appointment is booked for tuesday november 4th at 4 p.m a solar specialist will call you then i have some other automations that go off so that's step by step now how i took my database reactivation campaign using ghl only gave it a little bit of a facelift using the new ghl advanced workflow builder and then was able to attach the ghl conversational ai flow builder to pre-qualify that appointment and then obviously as an appointment is booked you can set up some different automations there if they were to say no to any of these i can use the ai splitter that decides like, hey, they're not qualified. Yes, they are qualified. If I really wanted to, I could transfer them to a new bot that takes over the conversation. So that is step-by-step step how my original database reactivation campaign got a facelift using the new GHL Advanced Workflow Builder and then tying it in to the GHL Conversational AI Flow Builder. If you want these workflows and snapshots, they are available inside of my free school community. If you click the link in the description below, you can jump into my school community. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in there or reach out to me inside. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I look forward to seeing you all in future trainings. Have a great day.